This blue right here, I would just change this text color to black so you can cleanly read it. And then this, I would probably change to a bigger size text. A heading makes it bigger. So let's say H2. Or let's probably do H1. No, let's do H2. Um, and then you can basically say a call to action in here. Um, typically, when somebody comes to this type of website, though, they're probably looking for a specific appliance. So, you know, whatever the form is here, you might have to strategize that, whether it should even be a form there. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Because some people want to look around before they want to buy something. So, just in case, though, I would just make this form head bigger. See how it's bigger? You can read it a lot better. Yeah. And then we'd probably want to make it like a dark blue. Or see, when, sometimes when you put blue on top of blue, it can look really nice. Let me show you. Uh, that's a, let's make it a little more blue. Like that. Sometimes when you add a light blue over blue or a light color over color, it looks really good. So I would just probably make this a little bit bigger. Just to, nope, you don't want it. You don't ever want it to be like that, where it shows we want to hear and then another section. That's too. That's not clean enough. See how you could change the text size here? Yeah. I'd probably make this a 51. See, like just fits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I would say, um, right here, I would say, fill out the form to schedule a showroom visit with an appliance expert ready to help you um, yeah that's probably all I'd write and then this form right here would go it'd be connected to that person's email and they'd get it through text if that's if whenever people start filling it out does that yeah, make sense yeah it makes a lot of sense so right here your headline you can play around a little bit this obviously needs to be changed to either blue or black you can never have misbranded colors like that I'd probably change it to that really nice blue that we're using just like that like the button blue or you can make it this blue or you can make it black yeah, I you like can't, the different shades of white and different blues. That's nice. Yeah. It's clean. It looks very like clean. It looks, it looks like very Mike, clean. Uh, what's his name? Rippa? Reminds me of <laughs> Yeah, it does. But if you, um, yeah. if you, uh, so, so the next thing I would do is immediately talk about what this company sells. So inside of this right here, add section, you can pick a section to basically, uh, you know, already done for you. So there's saved sections inside of the builder. So if I go to, let's say, let's even say the one that we use like for Tatiana, we can use this one. You can use any type of section, but immediately you want to talk about what this company does and what does it sell. So generally speaking, you see how it says features? This is how the, the website should be formatted. It should go talk about the intro, which is what we just did. Then it should talk about the features. What about that company? Then it should go, what's who is this company? And then potentially, you know, team testimonials contact us. See yeah. how it's laid out that way? Yeah. So we can follow the structure of it. So right here, um, I like the section that we used for same day. But um, if you can see, let me show you a good example of how this would be structured and laid out. I mean, we already have a, we already have a, a, a section for same day. But what we could do is um, we could highlight pictures or we can use a section that looks like this that talks about um, you know your company and then a company like that, that's not yours so watch how this would watch how this would come into play so I'd move this down I'd move this down I'd move this down I'd move this down and then you can see that it has to have some white spacing or ha it has to have some spacing from the text to make it look cleaner do you see what I mean yeah. if it's like this that's a very very unprofessional you see what I mean it has to have spacing it makes the text look a lot better so I, I would say with, you know, us, which is the scratch and dent store that we're talking about and then without us, but you see how one is capitalized and one is not capitalized. Yeah. It should never be like that. So like this has to be capitalized and then you, you're basically creating the consistency through there. So then when you scroll down, uh, when you scroll down here, then you can say, our, I don't know the name of this company, but let's say our scratch and dent appliance store. Or I could probably say here are, what is this, one, two, three, three reasons to choose us or something. Because this is what you're going to list out here. And then what you do is you just want to make sure that this color is relevant. So like you're using this color in the logo, I believe. But this is gradiented. Do you know what gradient is? No. Basically, it goes from one color to another color, so you can make the fades. So, for example, see how this is light blue, and then it turns into dark? 
Yeah. It gives it a really clean look. It looks nice. Yeah, and then I would play with the text here. I would look at black, see if that's doable, see how black kind of looks good too, but you're going to want to pick one color. So let's stick with white. And then this icon right here makes no sense because it's green. So you have to change the icon color, which you can do in the design. So you could literally go to the icon and you can click on icon color. And I might make it a darker blue just because blue does look good on top of blue if you use the right shades. Instead of the green, green doesn't look good. Blue looks beautiful. Yeah, so I would move it. And sometimes it's okay to do uh, uh, color over color, same color over color, as long as it's the right shade and the right gradient and the right just color in general. You know, because I don't really like using, unless your brand is red, I don't really like including red. So I don't like how this right here is red, you know, over this gray. But, I mean, it does look good over gray. It's very clean and easy to read. So right here, I would just write the headlines why someone should choose us. Um, you know, we're local, whatever town it is to Watertown. So they're local. They're not like a Home Depot. You know, so you can also say something like family business. I don't know, something that indicates you're not Home Depot. And then the second thing you can say, uh, we do same day delivery on all purchases. You could say that. So then people automatically, when they're calling the appliance store, they immediately want to know about delivery. So if we could just say that what we do right up front with it, they'll read it. And then you can do uh, name brand scratch and dent appliances. Doesn't that look really clean? This is why you should choose us, why you shouldn't, why you should, uh, other people, how other people are doing it. So over here, you can say franchise location or like, you know, corporate or I don't know, something that the, uh, the other appliance stores, corporate, small business. I don't know. You could say something like that. Here, you could say um, have to wait for delivery, only do drop offs. And you could say something else. You're trying to basically compare the two. Light on your side, same day delivery. But then if you work with somebody else, you have to wait for the delivery and they only do drop offs. So this one should interlock with this one. Correct. I guess. And then this one right here, so it says name brand sketch and appliances. You could say right here, used, old, outdated units with high markups. You see how you're using the industry slang in there? <laughs> yeah. Then people read this and they're researching right now. So they're immediately like, oh my God, like he's right. Like we can't work with some fucking, we can't get some used mock, you know, old appliances that, I don't know. You, you want to look like you're newer. I got you. I got you. Go ahead. This side moved down. Uh, looks good actually. Um, I'd probably play with this gray's color just because see how your appliance uh, logo is like that nice black, dark gray. Charcoal I gray. might play with this a little bit and maybe drop this down. See how the contrast makes it look and pop out immensely? And then also, if we do that... The red is nice right there. Yeah, know? the red's amazing. Yeah, the red's really good. Um, so fucking right. I would do that, and then I'd push this down to match, you know, like that. And then you could say something in this, in this little text headline right here. You can say, working with other appliance stores and not brand and then i'll just type in the name of the company there so then with us here's three but you notice the text here looks completely different mm. that's probably because this one right here has monster at and it's normal and then this one right here probably has monster at it's light so the font of the weight is light and you can change it to normal so the font gets bigger you see that when i change it to boldest it's really bold but when I change it to normal, it has that same look because it's 16 pixels. This one right here is 16 pixels, and but the only difference is that it's normal. So now they look exactly the same if you line them up. For some reason, the one on the right font looks bigger, but that just might be because of the capitalization that was used here. 16, and this one's 16, right? Yeah. Let's just double check by clicking 16. Yeah, it is. Okay. So now you've gone from, um, you know, what is this website? Why you should work with this website? And now you can continue your sections. So if you click this little plus, and you can move, see how there's a lot of white space? Mm -hmm. You can move it up from here. See this little button? You can go like this. And it'll actually push it up so you can get it closer to the top so it looks absolutely beautiful. Watch. Right away. Boom. 
And then next section, you know, we'll add about. So this is about the store. And we can use a survey to get that from the client. They could literally tell us about and we could just use that as a survey. Um, you can use something that looks like this. Very nice. You know, I, I'm a, I think boxes are really good. So if you use something like this and you put, um, you know, the address, 120s, whatever the address is. So this is showing your map. You're going to want to change the color of that bottom box. If I go to color right here, I can click on this and then I can go to the color code. See the hex code here? Mm -hmm. I can click copy. And then I can go here, see this color right here? I can go back and I can paste it because I want to make sure that it's, it has consistency. Mm. And then you'll also notice how this right here is really in the middle, right? What if we wanted it wider to take up more of this? This is too much white space. A website should never have that much white space like that. It should be like that, I think, on desktop. Yeah. So if you click here and you go to design, you go to full bleed, it'll make it fit screen on desktop. That's fire. So then right here, you're going to want to use the same font that we used here because this is a font we want to keep that consistency, right? This is a 36 Monster at H2 normal. So when I go here, I'm going to want to make sure, first of all, this is an H2 right now. It's an H3. Second of all, I'm going to want to make sure it's in Monster at. So let me click here and let me go to Monster at. And then I'm just going to want to make sure that, yeah, this is it. That's the, that's the font that's used here. You want to keep it consistent. So then you want to also do convenient, or you could just do uh, 127 Echo Lake Road, Water Town CT. What's the zip code? 06795. 795. But this would be the address of the client that you're selling. Yeah, I get it. Right? So then here, you would go uh, phone number. I would, you, I would just put the basic contact details of the client here. So I would just say phone number. Okay, just like that. I would drop it down. I would put the phone number. So I would put, um, I would put, let's say, five 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 five, and I would make this bigger though. I would make this probably like a a thirty or something. And the reason why I want to do that is because it looks really nicely when when we're, when we're finished. And I'll show you. So see how the phone number is there. Then you have the phone number. You can then put the um, any other contact details that go in here. Typically what goes inside of here is like email, you know, anything along those lines. This button is the same button. And then this one right here, I would might, you know, for a company of your size, I would do our warehouse, you know, and then people can look at pictures inside of the warehouse. I don't know, something along those lines is what I would do there. Um, but then I would also just make sure that there's some text in here. So a lot of the times when we're doing this, when we're designing, um, we use a tool called Lorem Ipsum, which is just a website that allows you to get stock text because you never want to show a client specifically a website that has no text. So you can just grab what's called Lorem Ipsum, which is just, uh, it's basically stock text. So I can go inside here. I can click widgets. I can just drag and drop some text in here just so people get the gist of when their information is plugged in. Do you know what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. So let me just white. Okay, so there's some how in the theme of it would be. Exactly, because you don't want, it, yeah. yeah, you don't want to show this and section. They're like, oh, well, all right. Well. Yeah, they're not going to read this. They're going to see the basic details. But, you know, people read between the lines. They're going to read from the heading. Just so you understand, people read headings. They read this, then they read this, and this sells if they want to read this. If it doesn't, they're going to keep going. They scan, just like people scan books. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's all set. That's good to go. So, um, yeah, this page is looking very white and a lot of this, the, the theme of this is blocks. So then what I would do is I would go immediately into the appliances that this company sells. So I would show pictures, usually a gallery. Now I think this, this page, for example, already has a gallery. So what you can do is, is you can go into this gallery and you can basically click on the row and click copy. And then when you go back to the page that we were building, this page, um, you can right click, click paste, and then all of it gets copied. So then now they already have pictures of appliances. So technically these clients that you're doing, you can just take super professional pictures and just give them the ones to use. Mm. So they don't have to take pictures of their own. Like, uh, but they could pick, take pictures of their own. I got what you're saying. So when you go here, you can immediately just go into the pictures of the appliances. Like have template pictures already. Yeah, right. already in there. These yeah. can be them. Yep. 
these can already be them. So then I'd add another section here and I would potentially just talk about the different types of companies that um, we do, you know, we sell. So the different brands. So I'd get like a bunch of the logos and I would just put all of the different brands inside of there. So like if I went to same day appliance and I looked at uh, the logos, where are they? I don't know where I put those logos. But if I were to look at this and I were to just take those logos that you have on the side, oh, like right there. So like I would put a bunch of the brands that you service right there onto that, onto this specific page. That's what I would do right here. So I'd put logos for now. It's just going to be templated and I'll do, um, I'll do something like this to keep the white consistency, but this wouldn't be a background picture of a rock. It would be, you know, something, uh, something a little lighter. Um, so let me show you what I would do with this. I would take this design, parallax rolling background color. Uh, overlay opacity I'd increase this a little bit okay so like you see like the nice little gradient there and then I would just put the logos so then I would just say um, you know th these are the brands name brands that we sell name bam brand products um, I don't know. that's what I would say something along those lines the type of brands LG mm -hmm. GE yeah, sure. all the other ones inside of there and then I'd go right into the footer. So then I would just put the footer information. So like this site right here, the footer just includes, you know, schedule, callback, text, delivery address, etc. cetera. Um, nothing crazy to this specific website is what I would do with that initial thing that you, you're trying to uh, 